We can draw this entire illustration in just three steps using Autodesk Sketchbook app. I came across this illustration in Pinterest and I thought why not a change and just draw something very simple but extraordinary illustration. So we are starting off with screen resolution of 2080 into 2860 and we are starting off with our most common painting the sky. To paint the sky, I'm using coarse watercolor to add multiple color of blue from the darker to the lighter shade and then I'm using wash brush to make it look like a sky with some forming of dark clouds because imagine you're taking this photo shoot of a model wearing this yellow beautiful flowy color and then and it is about to rain but at the same time you have this very pleasant windy atmosphere in your photography session and then I'm slowly blending it across in a circular way and and also making sure I blend it across in the lower bit of our sky. Once we are done with making the club formation here, we we'll just go ahead and finish off the rest of the sky by slowly blending it from top to bottom and then we will be done with this. Once we are done with this illustration, we are going to add a new layer for our grass layer. To paint grass, we are not doing anything crazy, we are just going to use two tools. One is our coarse watercolor brush to add the background and then I'm going to use my dry ink brush to give this grassy effect. Also, if you want to uh, spend less time on drawing the grass, I would recommend you using the feathery brush which gives it natural uh, grass-like structure. But here I want to make it a little more elaborate and I thought why not do it using our hand. Also, if you are going to save a lot of time, please use the symmetry option in the top toolbar to make it a little more efficient for you. Now that we are at the last bit of our grass illustration, we are going to add tiny flower using the same dry ink brush. Also make sure to add a new layer because in the future, we will just going to be copy and pasting and add multiple flowers in our flower layer. If you want to use different type of color for flower, you can definitely go ahead. But here we have a theme of yellow flower and then an yellow dress. And also I said it is one of pin and dress. Of course, it is not exactly same whenever I listed any. It's just like a reference image for me and then I have my own set of paintings. So I'm using hairbrush to make it slowly blended across this grass because I feel like it is a little bit thicker or for the stem of uh, a plant and for the grass it is completely fine but for the stem it looks a little thicker. So I was just using the help of hairbrush to slowly blend across and then once I am done we are moving straight on to the shoe topper to illustrate the module with a flowy yellow gown. For this we are going to use our most stem and easiest we are just not going to do for another half of illustration rather we are going to use the symmetry option and then I'm going to use the same dry ink brush to illustrate a model with an yellow dress so first we are starting off with the higher and then once I am done with this I'm just going to use the same brush and then I'm going to add the entire gown here so when when we are using the symmetry option you have very much uh, point that you're not going to make mistake for the other half like here I'm just trying to start off with an arm but then I decided no we are going to start off with the cloth once the gown is done it will be much easier for us to bring the entire illustration to life if you are new here you can definitely see the name as iPad fashion drawing one of the reason I started this channel itself is to keep myself uh, updating on the latest design and follow up those tutorial but somehow our channel lost its original name and Move into aesthetic illustration like the landscape and other realistic illustration which i might be doing like the food base or something for fun and i kind of enjoy doing it rather than all this fashion illustration but today as i came across this image i'm like oh why not why not bring our og's uh, illustration back to our channel if you look to the very oldest video it's just maybe like two or three illustration i might have posted on fashion but once i started doing this landscape portrait illustration of aesthetic painting i kind of fall in love in that scenario and then i completely changed the channel into making uh, aesthetic illustration for the longest and once we are done adding multiple layer i'm going to add this very cute crown to the girl because i felt this is so much like pain interesting like i spend at least three hours a day in pain interest i'm not an instagram person for some reason i'm more of a pain interest here. of course a lot of pain interesting it's very difficult to obtain but at the same time it is so much so much well put together 
If you're someone who spent that much of time in pin interest, comment me down below. We'll be a very good friend in future. Once after I'm done doing the crown of a tiny daisy flower for her, I'm going to slowly blend using the help of blending brush for the gown. Of course, if you look, we can see the backdrop of the light sky blue. At the same time, we are going to add shadow to the gowns and once we are done, I'm going to use the help of blending brush to slowly blend it across. This kind of look like you're standing at a grass at a distance with a sea view and also the cloud but initially i have no whatsoever plan of doing the sea or the cloud but the image kind of looked like anyway i'm just going to add few more shade for the gown and once i am done we will be going straight off to adding some stars in the sky with the help of glow neon pen and also i'll be adding few more strike of cloud in the sky Hope you guys have enjoyed this illustration and if so let me know in the comment or like this video if you are new here please make sure to click the subscribe button down below because tomorrow is saturday and we have a tradition in our channel where every saturday i drop a newsletter from my inbox to your whatever i have learned in this week i'll make a compelling letter with a lot of interesting quotes books podcast recommendation and also if somebody has recommended or shared the illustration or tag me in instagram learning through our tutorial i'll make sure to thank them along and also there is good life lesson where we can just read and get pumped up ourselves for the upcoming week so also for the video it is always some kind of food illustration which look realistic and tough but at the same time it's very easy last saturday i painted a very cute cupcake this saturday there may be some other food based illustration if you have any recommendation please comment down below i'll definitely illustrate and share the tutorial with you all and now we are at the very end of the illustration i'm just trying to make sure do we want the gown and the girl and the girl in a little smaller image or so like i said we are adding the tiny star and then some strike of cloud and we are almost done with the illustration hope you guys have enjoyed this illustration make sure to like share and subscribe and if you are new here thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe because ours is a thriving community to bring the like-minded people and build ourselves for the better future and if you're my existing subscriber thank you very much your support means a lot to me and i do like and comment your post whatever you're commenting and till then take care have a fun life is very short to even think so see you all bye bye